Okay, like the video title said, I think a screw with no slots is my next big thing. Just think what you could do with it. Since it has no slot, you could recess it into a tabletop and it would just be an unbroken flush surface with a really cool decorative look. You could design high-end flat pack furniture because assembling with a screw that looks like a disc would be a pretty cool novelty. And it could hold closed hidden drawers and compartments because it just looks like a decorative feature and not a functional fastener. Tons of possibilities. Oh, what's that you say? Since it has no slot of any kind and it's an unbroken disc, there's no way to drive it in or out? Well, to that I say... So this project was inspired by the wire EDM kind of uh, fidget toys, demonstration toys that uh, show two pieces of metal sliding against each other and coming together so perfectly that the seam disappears. I've only seen this done as like a novelty, um, but I've noticed how popular those videos are and I've always found that very satisfying. So I wanted to come up with something that would take advantage of that two pieces of metal coming together so precisely that the seams disappear. I wanted to make that functional. And a while ago, I came up with the idea of a screw to do exactly that. And I've been working on this and I've got it pretty far, but the project's reached kind of a critical stage where the next step involves spending a lot of money. So what I really need to know at this point is, are these going to sell? Do people just kind of think it's cool and shrug it off and move on? Or is it something that you can justify spending the money to build these into a really nice furniture project to do some of the things that I described earlier or come up with other ideas? Are people going to innovate around this? Um, I don't know yet. That's why I'm making this video. So comments on this video would be very appreciated. Do you think that you would spend the money on this? Let's, I'll, I'll just kind of ballpark some prices. I'm going to say about $40 for a screw and $60 for a driver. So similar or a bit more expensive than really high-end hinges or, or hardware, you know, the Brusso level uh, hardware for a furniture project. This would be at or a bit above something like that. The machining to uh, get the precision on 410 magnetic stainless steel, magnets are the way that the driver is, is held in so that the little plunger doesn't just push it out. The machining that you need to do that uh, to the level of precision to make the seam disappear on 410 stainless steel, really expensive. Do you think you would buy it? Would you design furniture around it? What would you design? Comments are great. But sometimes a thing as easy as just leaving a comment doesn't give the whole story, doesn't entirely, even if I get a bunch of positive comments, I'm not sure I have the level of confidence I need to take this to the next step. So I thought of a few other ways that I can try to tease out whether or not I've really got a winner here. I'm not at a point with this project where I can ask for money, a pre-sale or a purchase. It's not quite there yet. So this is my thought. I came up with a treasure hunt. It'll take about 15 minutes, entirely contained on YouTube. The treasure at the end of the hunt is a 20% discount when I do go to the pre-sale. So there'll be a lower pre-sale price the code that you'll get at the end of the treasure hunt gets you 20% off that pre-sale price. So it'll be the cheapest way if you do want to get in on this. Uh, and there'll also be a SketchUp file and PDF for dimensions uh, so that you can come up with some furniture designs and things that you would do with this that I probably haven't thought of yet uh, that you could share with me and I could share just to kind of see if people are going to do the kind of innovating around this that they need to uh, to justify the purchase. So, details on how to get to that treasure hunt are in the description of this video. Your comments are appreciated. Thanks everyone for all the support. Hopefully before too long I'll post the next step for these. That brings me to my next ask. I don't know what to call these. Hidden slot screw is what I've been saying in my file storage system, but that's too boring and descriptive. It needs a name that suggests what it does, uh, but not in such a boring descriptive way like hidden, hidden slot furniture screw. I'm not awesome at naming things. I love the name Twin Turbo Vice. I feel like for a moment I was just divinely inspired to come up with that name. 
That's really the only time it's worked out for me. I cannot come up with what to call this. I thought about, so some ideas I've had, the unscrew, U-N-S-C-R-E-W. I didn't get a great response on this. I thought it was kind of cool, like a screw that becomes not a screw, like a play on the word undead. It didn't go over. My private Facebook group, people want me to call it the Klein screw. I'm not so keen on that name. I, I want it to be around the product, not around me as the inventor. Uh, so something descriptive, but in an interesting, cool, fun way that you could make a logo out of and it could be its own brand. Somebody out there has to know what this thing should be called. Help me out. And follow along for what comes next. Thanks for watching.